Hello guys, welcome back to Wet Lines. We're back on the bank, it's 2021 and lockdown is very nearly over. So I've come out for a little day session down at my local, down on Willow Angling Centre, gone on the Pan Lake. Now this is a, I think this range is up to about 20 pounds, maybe just over 20 pounds fishing this lake. It's very small, it does seem at the minute that I'm the only one on the lake, which I'm a big fan of. We'll see how that goes, but welcome back anyway. Welcome to 2021. And here's hopefully a better year for fishing for all of us. Not really sure what to expect. I've never actually fished this lake. I'm on the Pan Lake, as I said. There's another lake just there called Langley's. I think that's the one with the bigger fish in, the more specy lake one. So we're going to give this a little go. It's about 8 a.m. now. Be on here until maybe five or six, depending on how it goes and how dark it gets. And yeah, it just feels good to be out here again, to be honest. So I'll spin the camera around, give you a little, give you a little look at what we've got to work with here. And yeah, we'll get some rods out and we'll have to get some fish in. So yeah, this is the pan lake. It's not, it's not very big, it literally finishes just around that, on, that, on that corner there. And this is it. So I'm obviously naturally going to fish, I'm guessing, I see, when I got here first of all I did see a fish. I've seen one fish, it was knocking about around here, so naturally we're going to get a rod out there. Let's just say it's quite a small lake. But it's a sunny day. I'm out fishing. Who cares, there's no one else here on my lake at the minute. It's beautiful. In the middle of nowhere. Surrounded by just farmland. That bird's getting on my tits a bit, but you know, I'm sure he'll pipe down. Anyway, that's that, so. We'll get some rods out and we'll get back to you. about 15 minutes later and naturally no fish yet but we've got the rods out so let me give you a little rundown where they're at what we've got going on the whole shebang is caboodled so rod number one we've got that chilling right in there i must have actually nailed the cast that's right in there that's an iqd rig a little wafter set up we'll show you the bait in a minute but yeah basically it's looking like an obvious spot. I mean, I saw a fish in there when I got there, just milling around in the weeds and reeds. So we pop one in there. Rod number two is just in this little bay in here. And that is on a Ronnie rig with a little pop-up again. We'll show you that in a minute. So we're just putting two options out there at the minute. Let's see which one gets any action. If we get one on the Ronnie rig, we switch to both Ronnie's. If we get one on the IQ, you guessed it. We'll put them both on the IQ. So, bait in question. The wafter of choice. Today's session, little Nash bait citrus, white wafter. So that's on the IQD rig. And on the Ronnie rig, we've gone for similar. We're just going, where are we? There we are. Citrus, Nash, pink pop-up. So we're gonna give them a little go. Give them an hour or two. We get no action at all. We'll get rid, we'll go with something different. But all in all, it's looking like it could be a lovely day. Sun's out, which is causing me some real issues here, trying to see myself. I think it's about 9 or 10 degrees today, so hopefully a little bit of warmth in the water. Get the fish milling about, get them feeding. If they don't, well, I'm just out for a nice day. So yeah, if we get any updates, tune in. I'll let you know in a bit. Thank you. 
right there. Little update. It's been about two hours. Nothing assault. Nothing at all to report on yet. So, changed setup. The, uh, on the IQD rig, I've now switched it to a cork dusted wafter from Cell. Which is one we've had wonderful success on wherever we fished. It's the 14mm cork dust wafter from Cell. So that's on the IQD rig. So we'll see if that gives us a better chance. I've got rid of the Ronnie rig because I think, uh, from what I've read up about this place, they're not really about Ronnie rigs, they're about baits on the, set on the bottom. So we've tried one of these, never tried this before. Scopex Squid Cultured Hook Bait. Read a lot about these, seen a lot on the internet recently saying these are, these are a great option. So that is the option right there, we're going to try one of these. Supposedly these are much like a Malteser. You know, you've got an outer layer of fabulousness that when it goes in the water all dissolves and gives off some action and then leaves you with a nice hard hook bait on the inside. So, we're giving them a go. That's so. No success as, la as yet. I'll give it a couple more hours. And if nothing comes of that, maybe I might move swim. This is all dependent if I see a fish. I've only seen that one fish this morning, but was out in them reeds since then. I haven't seen a haven't seen a goose. I haven't seen a thing. Keep my eyes peeled if I see any action. I'ma move. But at the minute, on the basis I've only seen one fish and it was in front of my swim, we're staying put. New rigs, fresh hooks, fresh bait. Like I said, it's just lovely to be out here. Dead silent, nice and quiet, peaceful. I'm on the lake on my own. It's beautiful, I tell you the truth, it's beautiful. Just can't wait, we've got about another two weeks. And then we can all get out and do hopefully a nice couple of night fishing sessions. I hope you've all got your sessions booked up ready, because otherwise if you haven't, good luck getting on somewhere now probably. So if you have managed to book up on a lake, let me know where you're going. Drop it in the comments. Where are you going? Are you going on 29th? First day out, bang, get on a lake, 40 hour, 72 hour, 24 hour. What are you doing? Where are you going? Drop it in the comments, let me know where we're all going. And when you're there, update us on the Facebook page. Down in the description is a link. Join our little Facebook group there. Let everyone know what's going on. Where are you? What are you call? How's it going? You know? And if you want to find out what we get up to on wet lines, when we get out and do our little 48 hours, subscribe to the channel. Because this year's going to be a good year. I can feel it. I can feel it in my loins. You know, three of us have got minimum 30s. We've done that. We need to get Scott. He's getting a 30 this year. That's happening. Tag this moment in your life, in your memory. Because when Scott gets his 30, I called it. It's happening this year. So subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell. So when these vlogs go up in future, you'll be aware of it. You'll see it straight away. And I hope you enjoy the content. But for now, I'm going to get back to watercrafting. I'm going to get back to watching this water. I'm going to find a fish. I need to find me a fish. I don't know where they are. There's apparently some fish in this water somewhere. So I'm going to get back to trying to find them. So for now, see you in a bit.
Oi, 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 oi. First one of the session. It's a clean little chap, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, so as you just see, we got our first fish of the day. Nice little common, didn't weigh it. It's probably only about eight or nine pounds, nothing massive. But the uh, the rig and the bait change worked a treat. So this is the rig I'm using at the minute. It's an IQD rig. And we got the cultured, Scopex cultured hook bait on there. And that is what done the job. Very nearly lost the fish because it darted straight into the reeds and snagged in there for a while. But we kept a bit of straight tension on the hook, on the on the on the rod. Eventually it freed itself up, but it had so much reedy weed around its face, I think it pretty much just give up once it got it out of there. But one fish down. We're gonna get this one back out there and we're gonna get some more. There's a fish just there, but we're going to ignore that because it's a tiny thing. So then I'm going to get my other rod in. It's got the same rig on, so we're going to put the same bait on that one. A little Skypex cultured hook bait. Put that back where it was, and we'll see if we get some more luck with this, with this bait in question. So, I'm going to ping this back out there. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> camera or not but if you can see it I'll try and zoom in basically I'm suspecting a bit of fish activity right amongst them reeds I see a fish oh, I thought I saw a fish I put a rig right on the edge of them reeds as I cast it boom spooked said fish or moved it it didn't like he dashed away he just moved slightly there's a lot of movement going on in there Fingers crossed, we get a fish. We've seen fish. I have seen a fish. And I've seen said fish moving. So we're just keeping a good luck on that now. Let's see what we get. Kind of reminds me of a scene from Jurassic Park, you know? All the trees are being smashed apart. That T Rex is coming through. Same here, carp coming through. Let's have it find some other. Alright then, people. It's about half four now. No more fish, so I'm. Uh, about to call it a day on this session I'm afraid, but happy to get a fish, happy to get back out fishing. It's been a beautiful day. Pretty happy. As I said, for the first session of 2021, on a lake I've never fished before, I take a fish. I've taken that fish weeks ago. Been waiting to come fishing for a long time. Thankfully got a bit of time off work now. Straight down here, bang, we've got a fish. So that feels pretty good. So like I say, that's the end of the session. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate if you click that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. We're going to have a lot of fishing planned this year, all being well. A lot more trips. So there should be a lot more videos to come. And hopefully a lot of the other wetline gang will be involved this year. I know last year they've had a lot of commitments and some of them couldn't get out as much as they wanted to, but this year hopefully that'll be changed and we'll have some good group sessions. So yeah, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be notified when we have our future videos. 
And if you're on Facebook, come over and join us on our Facebook group. The link will be down in the description. Over there we talk all things fishing. You've got new PB, share it with us, talk about venues, all that malarkey. We also do a once a month mystery box on our Facebook page, which you're all invited to come and get involved in. See, with the mystery box, it's quite simple. I put up a number, one to whatever. You pick whatever numbers you want, pay however much it is, and then basically yeah, I, chew, I, I create a mystery box of carp tackle and bits and bobs, brand new, nothing's rehashed, nothing's recycled from other things, it's all brand new items. If you go on the page you can see the last two winners, see what they won, see if it's a bit of you. If it is, get over on the Facebook page, or group, whatever you want to call it, group, and get yourself involved. But for me in this session, that is all for now. So keep those lines wet, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra!